district, Steve. Can't forget it. You're tired. You don't even play Steve like that. <laughs> Wash. I'll, t I'll tell him that in person. You don't got right. like that. So, we're gonna get Steve Crom like we were before. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it was that was causing the problem, but you know, here we go. PS2. Traditionally, I think this is a great Steve stage, and as you're seeing here, uh, Steve can combo on every stage, so, you know, that's just messed up. But, uh, Cool Cow thinks this is Steve's worst stage. He's wrong, and this should be executed. No, on a real note, though, I wouldn't gentlemen to this stage. But, if he thinks the stage is bad, get in his head. Run it anyway. You know? Um, so Kyle thinks it's bad because you don't get to mine, like, a lot of resources, and he likes being able to throw the dirt out there for those edge guards. Um, I, th I think he also, some Kyle can also struggle to just mine in general, so this stage you mine kind of slow, right? You get a lot of iron and stone. Um, so as a result, when he's not mining, or because he's not mining as much, it can be hard for him to have the resources to do what he wants to do, but it doesn't matter how many resources you have, you can just throw the TNT down like that. Yeah, that's true. I mean, great back here pickup. I mean, as a as a Roy player, I think the main thing in this matchup that people need to do is not commit. You don't commit, but you constantly put pressure so they can't mine, like you mentioned earlier. And it seems like he's doing a great job, but at the same time, big funny. Oh, almost got him with the uh, reversal right there. So the classic Steve back throw went into the block into F smash. Yeah, no, uh, Krom hitting you with fair into that block now. Yeah, um, now who kind of was like, Getting his damage, testing his matchup knowledge. That oh. down, then build down air in the block on shield. That was wild. Sixty-nine percent. Somebody's yeah. gonna die. He's not axe though. You don't. You don't got like that. Unless he does. Uh, probably got like that. Yeah, okay, so this is the moment. Cal loves putting that block up, and then he'll just go for a grab, and like you just have to deal with it. You know what's crazy? That's how I beat Palm Master. He did like. Block throw. He missed the tech too. He just did back throw block throw. Uh, Cal is also kind of a uh, cord ball, and half the time he won't even go for the F smash. Oh wow! So I mean, sometimes you just begin back if you tech it, um, but you still have to tech it, and that anvil is ludicrous. So that will kill. Yeah, I mean, that's rough because he, he got the nair punish, but it just wasn't really enough. You know, he didn't really get anything off of that. So now he doesn't really have any extra credit, and that spot dodge. You really got to watch out for those. As a crown player, you really gotta be spacing extra hard. Just to try to be like, be a little more aware. So traditionally, against a lot of characters, going for those like less risky options like jab or whatever isn't gonna be a big deal. But against Steve, if you get if he spot touches your stuff, you're taking 50. So you kind of have to adjust your game plan to it, right? Yeah. Now, I just I oh know. air dodge into the up smash. Unfortunate. Well, that, that up B being like, I don't know, it's so hard to punish it, because like, if Yeah, you sh it, to be honest, you shouldn't even really try to punish it a lot of the time. You have to have very good positioning or call out outright. And you either A, punish the thing after, right? Or B, if, if you're Karam or Roy, just side B. It is a good punish, because you space, so you can just like side B one and then see what they do after, right? Because like, this is something you can do. That, that's rough, because it wasn't even true. He got the air dodge in, because you know, it's just, it's just in... Getting hit by anything by C is such like a scary, it's, it's a nightmare, honestly. It's Halloween time, but it is, it yeah. is scary, because... You gotta stay composed at all times. This character's got lots of stuff that can kill you all the time, so as a result, you need to, instead of being always on the edge of the seat, just be comfortable with death. And it's, it makes it easier. Yeah, you're right about that, though. You just don't panic, you know. I'm trying to think... <sighs> Running it back. I mean, that was real close. I mean, he even had a lead going into the last talk at the end. It was just, you know, he got spot dodge up tilted. You're right. I mean, it is close. It's just like running it back. I don't know ever how I feel about running it back. Some people can do it. Some people can do it. And I'm ho I'm hoping Big Funny can pull it out. I actually, you know what's crazy is I actually played um, Big oh. Funny. Um, I, didn't, I didn't realize this was the same person, but I played Big Funny for, for like two hours in the MV, like on Wi-Fi. In MDBA Discord, I just was playing it. He's really good. I kind of forgot. He just, just makes him up. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna get him look kind of bad right now, though. Um, Kyle hit him with I think like three times in neutral. Okay, never mind. I take it all back. Oh, um, I was gonna say Kyle hit him like three times and did 140, and now yeah, Big Funny just said I don't need damage to kill you. Another thing too is I would like to see an up out of shield as like a punish because I know it has super armor. I don't know if it has enough super armor because I know Roy's can upbeat the anvil. This is the situation I was talking about, that block. Mm. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't think you really could have set up for anything like crazy because he was at such high percent. I don't even know if this tech will. I, I need to figure out the block tech a little better, but I mean, it kind of seems like for the first, well, not the first time, but it definitely feels like Cool Cal is definitely trying to get this mine up a little more. Just kind of realizing that Diamond would be very nice in this matchup. You know, in Diamond would be kind of huge. Um, there's a whole lot of edge guarding on Cool Cow's side, which is a little. I mean, I, I, I kind of get it. It's hard to get crawl off stage sometimes, but also sometimes it's just worth it to forego a combo and just be like, okay, now what do you do? Crom's got pretty bad recovery options, right? So. Yeah, I also think Big Funny is. Like, his stage control is very solid. Um, but you're still right. Like, he's not going for any edge guards, which I get it. Oh, he's dead. There, there's no nah, way. He's Anvil not going to close it out, oh, but okay. the, the farewell. Yeah. With no jump and then wasting the air dodge that early is kind of like, I don't know. You should be getting that kill. Jab on shield, how do you handle it? Apparently you just uh, jab back. Yeah. You can... I... He really... I don't know. That was a really good recovery because you don't want to get ledge trapped by Chrome. And... Oh, great. Oh, up smash. That's why he's like that. That's why I was getting schmixed on Wi-Fi. Oh. I like moment. That. Ready for the minecart. Not gonna get a pun a huge punish for it, but not gonna get hit, which is the bigger imp importance. Right. If you get a punish out of it, that's so good because they don't get stage control and they wasted materials. Now they're back at square one, so it's definitely a solid option. Uh, going for an edge smash that does hit below ledge against some characters like DK and Rob. But not Big sure. funny looking to kill. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know how he gets a pickup. This early, maybe like down to ups. Oh! Diamond oh, F smash. That's why you gotta mine, kids. Don't you want a diamond F smash at 60? That's rough, bro. I mean, that's my main issue. Like, PS2 is a big stage. Like, they have time to mine on the stage. He was at 69, is that why he had to die? That's. It was It was only right. I wouldn't say it's only right. It's just it's only right. <laughs> it is a little crazy. Uh, They both can kill it like those. Pre 